In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace a power steering pump on a Freylander Cascadia. This uh, DD15 2013. Um, it's basically on uh, the same thing on all Cascadias. Uh, so we're going to start by draining the oil. So we're going to take off this uh, hose right here. You're going to need a 7 8. And you might want to put a pan on the bottom so you can catch all the oil that's going to come out from there. So and we're also going to be replacing this hose right here. This was pretty simple. All you got to do is take off those clamps like that. And do the top one too. If you need to, if the hose doesn't come out easily, but when you pull it, you might want to cut it like that. Just don't cut too deep into the fitting. Just cut the hose and then it'll, it'll come off like that. And same thing on top. Just do a little cut and the hose should uh, come out easy. So that one is finished. Now we're gonna remove this hose right here on the bottom of the reservoir, the oil reservoir. You're gonna need a Phillips uh, flathead screwdriver or if you have the socket, it's a uh, number eight or a uh, 5 16 and same thing. You just remove the, the, the hose clamp and if you wanna cut the, the hose, same thing as we did on top or you can just pull it out and also remove uh, this clamp right here it has a nut right here once you remove those parts right there you can now start working at the bottom in the bottom the power steering pump is right here next to the air compressor it has these two bolts those are a uh, 16 millimeter so just take off those bolts So I removed the two bolts already. Once you remove those, all you gotta do is pull the pull it out. If it gets too hard, just hit it with a hammer, just a little bit, so that the gasket will come off. But if you pull it, it should come off something like this. So right there is off. Uh, so the easiest way to, to get it out is by bringing it down through the bottom. So it's out now. So to install the power steering pump, uh, you gotta bring it in through the bottom. And uh, that makes it easier. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. So you just bring in the hoses through here. So the, the pump is up here now. All we gotta do is put, put in the gasket. So we're gonna put in the gasket. So this ones, they have this uh, t uh, tape on the gasket. So it can align properly. So just just put it in. So I have the gasket put into place. Now all we gotta do is put it into the gear on the air compressor. So all you have to do is align it to that gear.
So there it goes, it's in. All you gotta do now is put in the two bolts. So the two bolts are in. So the pump is basically finished. Now we just gotta finish the top. Okay. So just put in the clamp on the hose and put it back into the reservoir. So the hose is in all the way and just tie it in with the eight millimeter. So the last hose, uh, all you gotta do is just uh, put it back in there and tie it in. And you're basically finished with the pump. But uh, in this case, we're gonna be fixing this uh, fitting right here on the inside because it's leaking from the inside. So we're gonna be replacing uh, an O-ring. That's usually what causes the, the leakage. So to remove the fitting, you're gonna need two wrenches. So the seven eighths goes into the inside uh, bolt and the nut. And you're gonna need uh, three quarters on the outside just to hold it. So that's how you uh, take it off. So it's off now. So we're gonna be replacing the O-ring. So to take it off, uh, if you wanna cut it, or just uh, as long as you get it out. And we have the replacement over here. So now we're gonna put it in. So just clean the inside. So we're gonna be cleaning the inside, all the oil. We're gonna be using some starting fluid or you can use uh, some brake clean and just wipe everything down. And also clean the that fitting with the new O-ring and you can start putting it back in. So just align the fitting where it, where it should go. And same thing, hold, hold one side and, and torque it in with the other one. So the inside is the one that locks it into place. And on this one, you're holding just the wrench, the wrench so you can be, so you can align it where you want it to be. So that's it. Now we're just gonna put in the, the hose. Also make sure you clean it. So just uh, torque it in. You don't have to put too much force into it. And that's basically uh, done. Now we're just gonna finish the hose from the reservoir into the, into the gearbox. So we bought this hose uh, in the dealer. They gave it to us a little longer than the original one. 
So we're gonna go ahead and cut off this piece right here. We're gonna be using the hose cutters. So now it's on the right size and we're just gonna go ahead and put it in. We're just gonna put in the new uh, clamps. So that's the last clamp and that's it. So when you finish uh, doing all the hoses and putting in the, the power steering pump, now if you wanna bleed the system, uh, what you wanna do is lift your truck, put in some jack stands, and then put the oil onto the level, turn the truck on, and turn the steering wheel all the way to the left and all the way to the right you can do that maybe like two times and then come back in here and check your level again and the oil should come down and that meant that the system was getting bleed so now you want to fill the the oil back up to the level and if you want to check again uh, you want to do the same thing turn the steering wheel to the left and then to the right and come then check your oil levels and if it's on the level now then it's bleed and if it went down again do the same thing until your level stays uh, in the level line so that's how you bleed the, the oil for the power steering box